There is a direct correlation between muscular strength and overall longevity. This means that individuals with greater muscular strength tend to have longer lifespans. This crucial connection was established through close observation from experts who identified a consistent decline in muscular strength that typically accompanies aging. Sarcopenia is a natural aging condition that affects everyone and leads to gradual loss of muscle mass. This decline in muscle mass has been directly linked to an increased risk of disease and mortality. Starting around the age of 50, sarcopenia can result in approximately 8 to 10% decrease in muscle mass per decade. This is equivalent to approximately 1% loss per year. In fact, if left unaddressed, by the time a person reaches the age of 75, the individual may have lost up to 25% of the muscle mass the individual had at the age of 50. However, resistance training has been shown to be a powerful tool against sarcopenia. Resistance training, also known as weightlifting or strength training, characterized by its ability to build muscle mass, counters the effects of sarcopenia, offering hope for improved health and longevity. So, how would resistance training impact physical health and lifespan? Muscle tissue offers more than just strength. This is because muscle tissue produces chemical messengers known as myokines, which are similar to the immune system's cytokines. There are numerous myokines, such as interleukin-6 or IL-6, brain-derived neurotropic factor or BDNF, irisin, and many others. Myokines possess remarkable properties and offer extensive health benefits, including having an anti-inflammatory effect, stimulation of fat metabolism, protection of the heart from reperfusion injury after a heart attack, enhancement of brain health, and even potential impact on accelerating the death rate of cancer cells. While other tissues in the body can produce some of these myokines, it is often the contracting muscle tissue that produces the majority of these valuable myokines. However, in the case of sarcopenia, the condition characterized by muscle loss, the muscle tissue that produces and releases these myokines becomes diminished, resulting in decreased amount of these messengers circulating in the bloodstream. Thus, engaging in resistance training increases muscle mass, which increases the amount of tissue responsible for producing these valuable myokines. This leads to a greater quantity of myokines circulating in the bloodstream. Resistance training can also have a remarkable anti-aging effect on muscle cells. Some studies have revealed a potential reversal of mitochondrial DNA damage after completing a resistance training program. This means that the DNA within muscle cells can repair itself, aligning more closely to the mitochondrial DNA of younger individuals. Perhaps one of the most crucial means by which resistance training is linked to longevity is through the effect of resistance training on the cardiovascular system. Cardiovascular disease remains a top cause of death in many nations. However, one mechanism by which resistance training promotes longevity is by preventing a disease that significantly harms the cardiovascular system, type 2 diabetes. The intensity of muscle contraction during resistance training demands a rapid and substantial energy supply, which primarily comes from glucose. During resistance training, muscle tissues adapt to enhance the movement of glucose out of the bloodstream and into the muscle tissue. One notable adaptation is the increase in the presence of GLUT4 receptors on the membranes of muscle cells. These receptors play an important role in facilitating the uptake of glucose into the muscle cells. Additionally, resistance training induces an upregulation of enzymes responsible for glycogen production. Glycogen is a form of stored glucose within the muscle tissue. The combined effects of these adaptations contribute to safeguarding against the development of type 2 diabetes. Excessive body fat poses a significant risk factor for cardiovascular disease. As we age, the percentage of body fat tends to increase. This elevation in body fat levels can lead to higher levels of triglycerides circulating in the blood, which has been associated with increased plaque buildup in the arteries. Additionally, sarcopenia can result in an accumulation of fat within the muscle tissue itself. This means that even though an individual's overall muscle size may remain the same, a higher percentage of this tissue is composed of fat, which also results in increase in total body fat. This shift results in reduced power output, meaning less strength is generated for the same cross-sectional area of muscle. However, resistance training has been observed to decrease the percentage of fat inside the muscle and throughout the body. This leads to the question, does resistance training decrease body fat percentage by increasing muscle mass or by reducing fat mass? Resistance training stimulates both weight loss and weight gain simultaneously. Several studies have shown that for every 1.4 kilograms of muscle mass increase, there is typically a 1.8 reduction in body fat. This can be explained with an example. If an individual weighing 50 kilograms with 15% body fat begins a resistance training program and gains 1.4 kilograms of muscle mass, this individual would also lose 1.8 kilograms of body fat. If this individual had only gained muscle mass while the body fat remained the same, the body weight would increase to 51.4 kilograms, which alone would decrease the body fat percentage to 14.6%. However, due to the 1.8 kilograms of body fat loss through resistance training, the body weight would become 49.6 kilograms. As a result, this individual's percentage body fat would decrease from 15% to 11.5%, representing a significant 3.5% reduction in body fat. 
This shows that the reduction in body fat percentage from resistance training is a combination of both increasing muscle mass and the loss of fat mass. But how does resistance training burn fat when glucose is the primary fuel during weightlifting? The answer lies in the fact that after a challenging workout, the muscle tissue needs to repair itself, and this repair process requires energy. As a result, resistance training boosts the body's resting energy expenditure, meaning the body burns more calories even when at rest. Since fat is the predominant fuel during rest, this repair process increases fat consumption, leading to a decrease in body fat percentage. This increased consumption of fat during rest also leads to a decrease in circulating triglycerides in the blood. Additionally, as the amount of fat in the muscle tissue decreases, it results in the enhancement of the muscle's power output. Yet another vital cardiovascular benefit that resistance training has been shown to provide is a positive effect on blood vessels. Through a process called flow-mediated dilation of the endothelium, resistance training can improve the health and function of blood vessels. But what is flow-mediated dilation? It is the ability of endothelium, which is the inner lining of blood vessels, to expand and accommodate increased blood flow. During the intense contraction of muscles in weightlifting, blood flow temporarily decreases. But as soon as that tension is released during relaxation, a rush of blood flows back through the vessels. This dynamic interplay of blood flow stimulates the endothelium to adapt and enhance its dilation response. The impact of this adaptation is so protective of the cardiovascular system that scientific studies have shown that even a 1% increase in flow-mediated dilation of the brachial artery can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by 9%. The improvement in endothelial function has also been a proposed mechanism behind another adaptation observed with resistance training. Lower blood pressure for individuals dealing with hypertension, meaning high blood pressure. Numerous studies have consistently found that resistance training can lead to a decrease in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure values in hypertensive individuals. However, it's important to note that for those with already healthy blood pressure levels, resistance training typically has little to no effect on blood pressure. Lastly, there is the possibility of improved bone health from resistance training. The scientific insights of this topic are already covered on the video on this channel, titled, Does All Exercise Truly Benefit Bone Health? While resistance training offers numerous health benefits, it's crucial to note that it has not been shown to provide all the advantages associated with aerobic exercise training. Additionally, excessive resistance training, like bodybuilding, has been associated with increased arterial stiffness, which can lead to higher blood pressure instead of lowering it. Therefore, a balanced approach that combines aerobic exercise and appropriate resistance training is key to maintaining optimal health. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for the latest video on the science of human physiology.